Greetings and welcome to the fourth review in our mid-2019 video review series. Uh, well, I decided today to uh, keep visiting uh, some of the more small cigars and uh, today I'm looking at a cigar that's not only uh, skinny, uh, but it's also uh, short and that's the uh, El Rey de Mundo Demitas. There it is. I've, I've already gone ahead and lit it up. And ideally, what you want to do with these uh, type of shorter cigars, it's only 30 ring gauge by 100 millilitres in length, which is uh, just a tad shorter than um, four inches. Um, and you're looking at a cigar that's going to give you about uh, 25 minutes uh, smoking time, 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I, get, I think the reason I chose uh, the Demi Tass uh, to review uh, in comparison to the two other cigars in the uh, Habanos regular production catalog that are the same size and they are the Hoya de Monterey, La Hoya de Mer and the uh, Romeo uh, y Julieta, uh, Petit Julieta. Uh, the reason I chose uh, this one is primarily, beca primarily because uh, what I find with the uh, Shorter size cigars, and I'm talking about the Menudos, the Perlas, the cigars that are around the four inches to four to thirty inches long. Um, they tend to uh, pack uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, flavour. Uh, now there is a difference. Uh, let me make that distinction between flavour and strength. So you have markers that are considered light in strength, uh, maybe medium strength, or they might be fuller. In strength, so the full side might be uh, Bolivar or Mono One Espartigas, for example, and lighter might be Ore de Mundo, Hoya de Monterey, Fonseca, for example. In the uh, the middle, in between that, you may have Cahiba or Monte Cristo or other markers. What I want to what I want to say is the Ore de Mundo uh, uh, Demi Tass. I find uh, is uh, a bit lighter uh, or not as intense in flavor as uh, the Hoya de Monterey, uh, La Hoya de Mer, uh, from my experience. So uh, when I want to uh, have a shorter cigar and I want uh, those uh, subtle flavors, I tend to uh, go for this cigar. And what flavours am I looking for? Uh, it all depends on the age. So this cigar is uh, very young. It's only uh, about eight months old. Uh, so when they're that age, I find the uh, Oreo de Mondo de Vitasses, they, um, they can be toasty. Uh, uh, so what I mean by that is uh, there's a certain crispiness to them um, that diminishes as they, as they get older. Um I guess the main flavours I'm tending to look for is a, a fruitiness or a tartiness, like a citrus edge to them. Uh, I'm looking for like a slight shortbread, um, perhaps a little bit of nut. Uh, not necessarily so. I don't think I get that uh, in the uh, in the Demi Tasses as I would in the uh, Schwa Supreme, which is the Hamosis number four, the only other Ore de Mundo regular production cigar currently in production. Uh, and uh, the other thing I tend to get is a little bit of a, a floral notes, and that's what I'm getting in this today. It's just really, really pleasant. Uh, those floral notes are there. Citrus, uh, like a citrus tart and uh, uh, shortbread. Perhaps uh, going on towards like a cedar, cedar leather type flavour, which you can commonly get in these uh, Royal de Mundo Demi Tasses. Um, uh, the other thing I need to uh, let you know is uh, uh, as, as they age, uh, what I've tended to find as they get older, and uh, believe it or not, these these you can really sit down for a long time, and quite easily 10 to 20 years, they, really, they only get better. Um, those, those floral notes can come out, uh, and perhaps that nut. Um, as it gets, as the flavours get a little bit softer um, and more refined, uh, and 
But anyway, I don't mind them. Um, uh, if I can get some shortbread and citrus, a little bit of floral notes when they're a bit younger, I, I don't mind having them. I don't having them now. But the other thing I need to tell you, do remember the 30 ring gauge and any of those skinnier ring gauges, say below the 42, really benefits from smoking a lot slower. Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to smoke through uh, the first half and come back into the second half and see how the, uh, the this cigar progresses. We've reached the halfway point and um, uh, flavours are much the same as as what I expected. It, uh, it has picked a little picked up a little bit in intensity, um, but that nice core fruit tart citrus flavour is still there and it's keeping me interested and that's what I'm enjoying about it. I needed to just forewarn you with uh, this cigar. Um, they can be tight. Uh, in fact, out of this box, I think this is probably my fifth one out of this box and two of them um, I've had to use a perfect drawer unfortunately on they've been plugged, which admittedly I rarely have to use the, uh, the perfect drawer tool. So uh, whenever I do, I don't want to, but Look, it's, it's an amazing phenomenon. Um, only been around for maybe a year or two, but um, boy, does it uh, save, you, save your cigar. And uh, it did on those two occasions. Um, if you don't open up the drawer on a cigar like this, it just it just gets too bitter. Um, it's unsmokable. You're not going to get any smoke out of it. So uh, you really want it to have some sort of a decent drawer, or otherwise it just gets too hard and it, it becomes like uh, papery. Uh, ashy, disgusting. So uh, anyway, you'll know what I mean if you've smoked these. But um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to uh, tell you about uh, this cigar, and while I draw on my next puff, uh, is that um, admittedly I haven't smoked the uh, Romeo Julieta Petit Julieta, and it doesn't get much uh, mention on our our forum. Um, like. Uh, many other uh, um, Vitolas in those uh, global brands um, because those global brands have about 20 to 21, 22 each. Um, some of them, uh, uh, not that the Romeo Julieta, uh, Romeo Julieta Petit Julieta is uh, considered a low grade option, but some of those um, uh, global brands have uh, lower quality options. Um, the other brands, the other, other brands do too, but. Uh, some of them just don't get as much uh, of a mention. So, for example, so the H. Upman market, you, I might be thinking of the H. Upman Regalia or the uh, Coronas Major, for example, um, which I think are both petite Coronas, but um, we, they would never be considered in the same breadth as say, the, H, the recently deleted H. Upman Petite Corona. Um, so, uh, I haven't tried the Romeo and Julieta Petite Julieta, but uh, Certainly have tried the uh, Hoya de Monterey, La Hoya de Man, and I found them um, always more intense in the the cocoa, certainly more strong in flavours than I would get out of the Hoya de Mondo Demi Tass. And for that reason, um, you know, when I want a quick smoke, when I want something that's 20, 25 minutes, and I want something that's um, lighter on the flavours, uh, more subtle on the flavours, definitely go for this. Now, uh, so I mentioned those three in this uh, Vitola. Uh, there was uh, the Rafael Gonz uh, Gonzalez uh, Demi Tass that was deleted in '96. I uh, haven't had heard too many reviews uh, of that cigar, but uh, at all, I can't remember the last time I read a review on that. But um, one cigar that was deleted, I think, in 2002, that was this Vitola, the Bolivar Demi Tass. Uh, I've, uh, I've read some reviews on, on our forum about it, and um, apparently they're very spectacular. Uh, they have uh, a wonderful chocolate and spice uh, to them and a, a beautiful complexity. If you ever happen to uh, have that, been fortunate enough to get uh, those aged uh, Bolivar Demi Tasses, you were indeed very lucky. And it, it goes to show that uh, just like the El Rey de Mundo Demi Tass, I said earlier in the review, you can go for 10 to 20 years, um, you'll have no problem. With aging them, um, uh, I've read some uh, yeah, Bolivar Demi Tasses uh, reviews on our forum uh, from prominent members and uh, smoking smoking examples that are uh, 
some of them are sitting 15 to 20 years old and they've been great. I think I've been fortunate today in that um, uh, the scar, um, the drawer is a little bit tight on it. Uh, I would prefer it to be just a little loose, but I can definitely, I, I have a, a greater tolerance when it comes to draw, so uh, I can certainly live with this, it's not a problem. But uh, I'm really glad to have spoke this today and uh, done this review because it's not, it's not a cigar that uh, uh, is as popular as uh, many other Vitolas on our uh, um, forum, but um, uh, I guess for the size that it is, it does come up on the daily smoking thread uh, more often um, than some other cigars. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the review. I look forward to uh, seeing you next time. Until then, happy smoking.